Hello and welcome to the episode guys. Today I'm going to show you how to fix uh, Resident Evil 7 crashing uh, due to the lack of DirectX 12. Now, as you're seeing right now, I'm trying to launch Resident Evil 7 on Steam. I have the latest version and you see this error right here. Uh, RE7.exe, Fatal Application Exit and D3D12 Create Device Failed. Um, which is basically signaling that we have no support for DirectX 12. Now, in order to fix this, this is pretty simple. And um, what you need to do is open Steam, go to your library, um, find Resident Evil 7, uh, right click on it, click on properties then betas and under beta participation click on the drop down and there should be ex11 uh, underscore non rt minus blah 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 so this uh, will actually make it run in directx11 switch this and you should see a starting download now it should start updating and the game should be good to go now that was about it if you have it on steam now if you cracked the game which i don't recommend um, practically what you have to do uh, is get an older version of the game that was released before the ray tracing update which introduced um, DirectX 12 and this applies to Resident Evil 7 2 and uh, yeah Resident Evil 7 and 2 2 remake um, because those have been added to DirectX 12 3 has been having uh, DirectX 12 natively so that um, again but um, yeah this works on Resident Evil 7 Biohazard and Resident Evil 2 Remake. Okay, so Resident Evil 7 is now installed. I'm just going to open it and the error should be fixed. Okay, the game is booting up. So now we have to wait for it to launch. I'm going to cut this part of the video a bit until the game launches because um, it's going to take a bit due to my lower end hardware okay and there we go the game is booted up now let me put this in windows and as you can see it's working just fine now um, i hope this actually helped you guys and if it did don't forget to drop like subscribe to the channel and that was me Jackish. have a nice one bye bye